What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are going to go on our maiden voyage with the 2014 Polaris 1000. Uh, everything is done. We've got clutch covers back on. Everything is torqued up second time. So what we've done is we went ahead and ran it uh, up and down the block multiple times to get some heat soak into the trans, make sure the fluid's good there and same as the motor. Uh, clutch cut both clutch primary and secondary we've gone through and redid that uh, for your torque specs 5150 came in clutch got the brand new whips in there like I said they they laughed and sent us a new one new set there uh, everything else is looking good we're all cleaned up on the inside uh, and it looks like uh, the front ends doing awesome so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and load this uh, machine on the trailer and we're gonna run out to our OHV park and see what's going on out there because I'm pretty sure uh, the, the rest of the guys are up in camping. So let's load this thing on the trailer. Yeah, whose fault is that? It's mine, but you want them good bound. You gotta want them bounty series, baby. You gotta fucking put a little grease in them. Jesus. Why are you over here flexing again, dude? I'm not, I'm holding, You're this, always I'm doing holding this tire. Yeah, sure you are. <laughs> we gotta do the preventative maintenance, man. <laughs> I just did preventative maintenance. I made a whole video about it. <laughs> Actually, that was not preventative Here's maintenance. Here's how you tear it apart. Yeah. That was not preventative. That was, uh, Emergency repairs. Right, Good. What a, what a pain. It's actually not that bad. Me and Russ get it done in about doesn't take very long at all. Look at those, look at those arms, dude. Jeez, man. Every time, every time I pull out the camera for five seconds and. Oh, look at that. The old needle valve. Kind of a pain in the butt, but uh, she's muddier than heck. I guess last night they went and took her out for a rip, and there's a couple of low lying spots where there's a lot of mud. Like, like we were saying, I mean, this mud comes off, but it's. Uh, not the greatest mud in the world. Why we don't run out of green? We're good. If we do that, this shit goes horribly wrong. Yeah, okay, I can't. I can't. Why is this so loose? Like, how was it tight last time? It's like, like, you have to put it all the way down there. Okay, right? here, we'll tighten it up some more. I just gotta get a 14, bud. What's going on, dude? I can't even hear anything. There's so many bikes. Oh, we got. Put a new tire on the little 100, so. So, this is the one that he picked up for his son. Slap a brand new tire on it, which is already completely muddy. Gotta get the chain a little bit tighter. Can't even see it. Not, not, not a bad bike, huh, bud? Freaking thing just fires up. It uses every bit of it now. Dang right. Now it actually can uh, use every bit of it. Nice. 
Bob, you ready hey. to go on a ride, buddy? All righty. Shane, you ready to go on a ride, bud? I weren't ready, bud. No, you weren't. You missed it. This guy went up the big hill on his hundred. Jesus. <laughs> Man, I did miss that, dang it. You guys ready? Always. No, you're not. You're not always ready, BJ. Ready to climb a big hill. How you doing, bud? You ready? Always ready. I'm just gonna sit here and listen to music, though. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to get it dirty. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna have to overlay this really heavy. <laughs> All right, Shane. What, what what exactly speed did you do? Uh, clue him in real quick. Say say again. I don't know if they heard you on the camera there. He's gonna come over and drop down that bank, climb up right here, and then he's gonna come up this right here. Okay. Yeah, you can see right there. Yeah, there's a chance that uh, you might need to use your legs on this one, Bob. Yeah. This right here is nasty. God, it's almost too wide. You have to drop one side in. Yeah, it's, it's freaking steep, too. It's, it's right here. Oh, I'm going don't, to. Don't stand there. Don't stand there. That's where I'm going to be. Nicely done. It's sketchy. That is. Yeah, that is. Wow. Look at that. It's not one you're going to crawl. No. That one you need to carry some wheel speed for, definitely, I think so. I think Shane's going. Good deal. Here comes Shane. He's just cresting the top of the hillside here. He's going to follow that same line that BJ did right down here. And uh, I'm standing right next to it. Uh, it's hard to say, you know, with, with the camera being the way it is. Uh, yeah, you could, that's easily six feet from where I'm standing from my feet. So that's pretty neat. I guess uh, the portals really just freaking spoke right there, didn't they? Yes, they did. I should try it slower and see if I can make it. Go ahead, man. Try it. Give her a shot. I mean, look at all the machines here. Nothing can really go wrong for you except for, well, if you're on. I'm going to try it and see if I can do it slower. Are we going to see roll, dude? <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, uh, BJ's coming up for a second round. He's gonna try, instead of wheel speed, we're gonna try just a slow crawl and see how much hookup this ground has. my statements those porters were a waste of money <laughs> <laughs> look how tacky the ground is though I know well you can actually dig a pin too they're only they're the only real hard part is like the first three or four times you yeah. what uh what do you think oh he's gonna make it easy that's a hell of a freaking little drop off there though I bought him out there well that's where he went up that one night uh, Oh really? Jesus Christ, man! You know Can Am's coming down the hill. Yeah. Well, I was wondering about that. He needs to maybe spray his brakes off. <laughs> Is that what they use brake clean for? Yeah. Oh shit! I wash my hands with that. Yeah, I do too. It's all right. <laughs> and uh, nothing else. We got a winch. Well, I think we have like three or four winches. That little thing right there, Steve. Well, I actually was worried, worried about that. I wasn't so much worried about that. I was worried about catching that ledge over there and dropping Oh, yeah. The Dude, his nose. His nose come down dang near touched the ground. shoe is washed out for what a couple years yeah yeah I mean it looks good now gotta keep him alive bud Straight drop, I mean, Jesus, that is far. Straight drop off on the right. Drop off from the little coulee over here to the left. Straddle the rocks here, left and right. And we got all these wide machines coming. Hopefully they don't die.
Nice, look at that. The old thousand looking majestic on her first ride. Guys, this is so sick. If I don't fall here, look at all of them go. I better catch up to the group. Well, here we go, guys. Look at that. What a hell of a riding session. You've got all these awesome machines out here. Seems like they just keep going on forever, which is awesome. Russ, what do you think, dude? Another day of riding, guys. Another one in the time. books. Played on some new trails. Everything's still in one piece, so you know what? It was a good day. Yeah, I gotta say the shakedown pass on the old blue one actually did really good. Uh, front end, absolutely no knocks, bangs, or ticks, or nothing. Um, pretty pleased with that. Have you done anything new with the, uh, the Can-Am? Uh, the only thing I did is I put the shock therapy springs on. Okay, and right. I'll tell you what, it's a world of difference. I mean, it, it rides better, it climbs better, the front end. A few moments later. Well, uh, let's try that again. <laughs> the, fr the front end stays planted. We got another one coming I mean, out. It's ah, uh, dang it! <laughs> it's a world of difference. So if anybody's looking at doing it, the shock therapy springs. Yeah, I, trust I agree. Me, it's it's worth the money. I have the high lifters on the uh, on the blue one, and those are it's, it made a huge difference. Yep. And and we know shock therapy has been an awesome brand for us in the past, and I believe it 100%. You don't have to tell me. But yeah, let them know. Uh, there's been a bunch of people who've been asking about your machine as well, and it's always nice to see uh, you know some true actual feedback on it. Well, and the nice part about shock therapy is they set it up for your exact machine, your exact riding style, what you weigh, what your passengers weigh, any add-ons that you've done. Straight up dialed in. It's dialed in, and when they say they're dialed in, they are. That's yeah. awesome, man. Like. Guys, I hope you understand, like, we try to give you as much real, uh, you know, realistic content as possible, and when he says that they're completely different, that was the biggest thing with that Can-Am, compared to, like, the four-sheet Polaris Razors, was they, it was always a little bit stiffer, it was really, really jagged. It was the bump steer, what was the other issue with it? The Basically, bump the bump steer is yeah. the biggest issue, and it's real stiff on the short and choppy stuff. Now, Not anymore. It doesn't rattle your teeth when you go across the little short bumps. Awesome. You know. Now, what did that kit run for all four? That's 940 bucks. But it's 940 bucks. It's well worth it. Worth it. Yeah, absolutely. So if you're looking at doing it, have any questions, feel free to give us a holler. We'll get back to you and let you know exactly exactly what I did, how I did it. Yeah, absolutely. And and, and, and like I said, it, it, any of these machines, guys, if there's anything in here in any of these videos that you see that you have questions on, uh, drop us a comment uh, below or hit us up on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, you can find us there as well, and uh, we'd be more than welcome to help you out there. So I guess. I guess Anytime. We appreciate you guys. Like and subscribe. Heck yeah. We need more subscribers. Yeah, I know. We need to we need to get, uh, grow that Razor Crazy crew, huh? Oh, yeah. We All right, guys. The US. Yes, sir. Uh, look at there's a little leaky eyed dog. <laughs> Pam, did you have fun? Yeah. Good deal. Romo? Romo had a blast. Always. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we're going to close it out for this video. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, like Russ said, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Now you're here to do what now? We're here to work on the machines. And you're here to do what? Drink beer. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just testing the stabilization and the autofocus.
Right? Okay. And he's here to drink beer too. Are you? Yeah. What is she here to do? Oh, drink beer. Fucking have all the parts sitting over the chairs over here. Coming down at you, you'd flop. That's weird that coming down at you will flop, but it's fine going up. It's tricky going up. You have momentum. Going down, you don't. So we definitely need to do that one. Dig out the side because then you can make actually a fourth loop. Would you get that out of me?